I think the the main impression of convenient libraries was that there was an attempt to create uh, an important civic building, yeah, and that therefore there was a kind of reference uh, reference to traditional uh, the library as it traditionally was. And I think it enabled us to begin to say that actually is the library really the same uh, anymore and is it kind of really an important civic building that emanates that or should it be kind of modernized. And so as part of that initial period we were also able to um, collect a kind of reading lists, uh, to collect uh, newspaper articles to understand and to begin to document how libraries had changed uh, in, in recent uh, over time, but particularly in the last uh, decades, and how you know, the, in a way, <coughs> of course, the book was still, still central uh, to the idea of a library, but how uh, there was an enormous amount of, kind of new roles for libraries. There were also social centres. They were also uh, teaching different languages uh, because Seattle is a city with a lot of uh, immigrants from uh, enormously diverse backgrounds. How uh, music was, for instance, an important uh, kind of part of the uh, become an important part of the library. So basically, we were saying this is the kind of book, but in the meantime, you know, the, the tasks and the roles and the media have extended uh, enormously. So this language of a library, as it was initially, uh, is maybe not appropriate anymore. And so that enabled us to kind of really prepare people for something more modern without um, having a conflict about the language of architecture that we would eventually employ.